IP people. Hello, potheads. Hello, pressure cookers. Hello, my instant pot friends. Well, chicken and dumplings, that's pretty much a comfort food that you can eat any time of the year. And now, thanks to the Instant Pot, you can have it any day of the week. So today on the Spicy Apron Cooking Show, we are making chicken and dumplings the easy way for potheads. Just saying. Chicken and dumplings is definitely one of the most talked about, the most asked for recipes on all of the Instant Pot Facebook groups that I belong to. So we are gonna make that today and it's really easy. This is a very, very simplified version of chicken and dumplings, but it's fantastic. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do is set your Instant Pot to saute. Let it get hot until the display reads hot. And then add a little bit of olive oil to your hot pan. And we're going to saute some veggies. The classics, right? Carrots, celery, and onions. So when you have your classic veggies in here, just go ahead and stir them up and just go ahead and saute that until they're a little bit soft, maybe three or four minutes. Once your veggies are a little bit soft, then you just add a pound of chicken tenders cut up. Again, this is a really simplified version. So just dumping in the chicken tenders that I have cut into bite-sized pieces and I'm gonna give those a good stir. Now, they do not need to be fully cooked at this point. Just go ahead and saute them a little bit to give it a little bit of browning flavor from the sauteed veggies. There are so many wonderful things about the Instant Pot. One of the best things is the ability to take a meal that used to take hours and hours and hours to get this great homemade taste and have it out the door in like 20 minutes. And this is definitely one of those recipes you don't even need to tell anybody how easy it is. It really is one of the easiest things you can do in the Instant Pot. And it honestly tastes like you've been slaving over a stove all day long, but you haven't. Now that the chicken is browned a little bit on all sides, add the seasonings. It's just salt and pepper and thyme. And if you want the full recipe, of course, you know to go to thespicyapron.com. There is a link below to make it easy for you. Once the seasonings are fully incorporated, Sprinkle some flour on it. This is what's going to give it a nice, rich, creamy texture when it's all done. Now you do wanna go ahead and cook the flour down a little bit to not have such a floury taste in your final meal. It's really easy to do. It takes about two minutes. Again, keeping your Instant Pot on saute mode. Just stir it about a minute until the flour cooks and becomes incorporated with the chicken and veggies. Now, a lot of you know that I am doing this demonstration in the Instant Pot Mini. Some of you might have the full size. The reason I'm doing it in the Mini today is because I have just written an Instant Pot authorized cookbook. Uh, the link is below. Right now it is available for pre-order on Amazon, but May 1st it will be out and in the stores for you. Okay, so the flour is cooking down a little bit. It's absorbed into the chicken and the veggies to give it a nice creamy texture at the end. This step is very important. You must deglaze the bottom of the pan because you don't want it to burn. So pour about a half a cup of the chicken broth into the pan and just make sure you scrape it around and clean the bottom of the pan very well. Okay, so as you can see, the bottom of the pan has been fully deglazed and I can now add the rest of my liquid. Give it a good stir. And the last thing we're going to do, and. Again, I did say this is a very simplified version of chicken and dumplings. I am using canned biscuits. If you have a secret special biscuit recipe, dumpling recipe, please feel free to use that. That will work just as well. But for purposes of, again, making this a very easy weeknight meal that you can do anywhere, we actually do this in our RV a lot. I take the Instant Pot with us camping and this has quickly become one of our favorites on a cool evening. Back to the canned biscuits. So I have one of the small cans. All of the biscuits are cut into fourths. I squish them together a little bit to uh, make it look a little bit more authentic. I don't, I don't know if that worked, but it tastes just as good. Anyway, you just very carefully set them inside your Instant Pot. It can be touching. You don't want to cram them in there though. Let's go ahead and layer them in. And then we are going to set the timer for eight minutes and then that's about it. Okay, the biscuits are in. Now make sure you cancel your saute function. We're going to put the lid on. Make 
make sure that the vent is pointed toward ceiling. Depending on your model, that can be straight back or off to the side. This model is off to the corner a little bit there. Then set your timer to pressure cook for eight minutes. That's it, it's all going to be cooked. We're gonna add a few extra surprise ingredients once we take the lid off, and you will be amazed at how fantastic this version of chicken and dumplings is. All right, so the chicken and dumplings cooked for eight minutes, and then I let it naturally release for about 10 minutes. Now, if you don't know what that is, I have a video that explains some tips. That is one of them. So let's go ahead and look at our chicken and dumplings. Oh, see how those biscuits poofed up? The dumplings in chicken and dumplings actually get steamed, which is why it's perfect for the Instant Pot. Uh, and so that is what you're looking at, the steamed biscuits. Now what I like to do at the end is add some peas. This gives it that very traditional chicken and dumpling flavor. So just kind of dig a little hole in there between your dumplings, you don't want to smush them, and add your peas. And in addition to the peas, half a cup of cream, because we really want this to be creamy. Fold the cream and the peas together in the chicken and dumplings. And as soon as it is blended, then we just serve it up. Now my goal at the Spicy Apron is to give you a lot of really good, really tasty, really simple meals that you can make either at home or on the road in your RV or wherever you are. So if I've done that with this, go ahead and if you would, just give me a thumbs up, maybe a subscribe if you would like more recipes. I have a lot of Instant Pot recipes right here on this channel. Just go to the playlist called Instant Pot. Now, let's serve this up. Yes, I know. Look at how delicious that is. It's creamy, it's chickeny, it's got peas and carrots and celery and onions. It is classic, it's got the biscuits, which we can call them dumplings now that they have been steamed. And there you have it, a really, really easy version of chicken and dumplings. Cheers, happy eating, happy camping, and we'll see you next time.